This bill is a license to hunt and a license to kill. When you see something that is wrong, that is unjust, that is unfair, you have an obligation to get in the way, to get in trouble, to get in good trouble, necessary trouble. These are the words of Congressman John Robert Lewis, who began as a student right here in Nashville challenging the immoral system of Jim Crow. If it wasn't for John Lewis and his generation finding a way to get in the way, to get in good trouble, I would not be able to stand here before you today and address this body. Many of us in this room would not be able to enter through the front door of this building. We would not be able to eat at restaurants downtown. We would not be able to vote. And yet, rather than honoring this legacy of protest in America, from the Boston Tea Party, to the women's suffrage movement, to the abolitionist movement, to the labor movement, to the racial justice protests last summer, this committee has decided with just two days left in session to revive an immoral bill that will criminalize protests and grant immunity to drivers who run over protesters. This bill is constitutionally inconsistent, it is economically indefensible as it increases incarceration costs, and it is morally insane. It is morally insane. I would like to come before this committee today with a simple message that bills have consequences. It will make people afraid to come to the streets because you already have people on social media talking about state law says you can run over protesters. Every protest where there's cars revving their engines, threatening to run people over. This bill is a license to hunt and a license to kill. Ninety-six of the protests in the Black Lives Matter movement last summer were peaceful. And so this bill is creating a solution for something that there's not an issue of. This legislature has already passed one law to make it a felony to stand in the plaza. And now on the second offense, we're making it a felony to stand in the streets. Where will it stop? If we cannot be on the plaza, we cannot be in the streets, I think the goal of this legislature is to send us home so we cannot exercise our First Amendment right. And so my question to you is, what part of the Constitution has redacted the First Amendment? the right to assemble. Senator Rose, you had your granddaughter here in the legislature. You posted this on Twitter, how proud you were for her to see how the government works, how proud you were for her as a young person to see what the legislature does. I say to you, Senator Rose, that I too am somebody's grandchild, that all of us are somebody's grandchildren, and we want to see how government works. We want a voice in this system, Senator Rose. We don't want to be out protesting, but we have no other choice but to find a way to get in the way, to get in good trouble.